Uh, yes, uh, 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 please. I, I I suppose I want to get back to yourself, Annette, in terms of the concerns that I would have around, and forgive me for being parochial, but the fact that, are you really saying that, that the Mayo campus would not have um, uh, representation on the governing body? Could you just speak to that uh, to me again? And I mean, would that also mean that Letter Kenny wouldn't have or Sligo wouldn't have or could you maybe just speak to that? Thanks. Yeah, just what is what is set out um, in in the bill certainly could could mean that one of the campuses wouldn't have represent wouldn't have staff representation, um, and I think that would be absolutely horrific. Um, and it also goes to to what uh, Senator uh, Byrne had set out in terms of, you know, the accountability and you know a, a governing body are acting as a corporate entity. And I suppose guarding public money. And if you want to know what's happening on the ground, you know, staff reps know what's going on, you know, and staff reps tend to be the ones raising the issues at the governing bodies, you know, because they know what's happening on the ground. So I think that is why it's really important to have that robustness, to have that, uh, I suppose, you know, ra raising issues of concern at the governing body. Um, and that, so if you have, you know, GMIT or IT Sligo or Letterkenny without that representation, I think that that will not uh, augur well for for the for the for those regions. And also, you know, we are the technological universities are in their infancy. You know, we've had a, a lot of difficulty in getting to this space. I think we, what we should be doing is supporting them and making sure that they are successful entities. So I think changes that have been agreed that are set out in the bill that are now that are set out in the TU Act rather and are now working well I think is now is not the right time to be changing them. Uh, thank you I very much Ms Dolan. I agree with you I think it would be quite astonishing for that to happen. I know the Trojan work that was done in getting to the stage um, that we got with the Connacht Roaster Alliance in, in the collaboration and the congruence and, and, and everything there um, I, I am, I'm quite shocked to hear that the Mayo campus um, wouldn't have a, wouldn't have a voice there. And, 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 and as you say, I think it's really repugnant, uh, repugnant and, and contravenes um, what was accepted up to this point. Uh, so to start backtracking at this early stage um, it would really ring alarm bells for me. And I think it's something I will take up with the minister um, separately because we can't allow that to happen. I just want to refer to what Joan said, if that's all right, uh, look in terms of the research funding and the core funding. And absolutely, I mean, it is taken at a given in terms of, you know, we have all the evidence there, all the figures there in terms of the, the, the student teacher ratios, and then the chronic, chronic underfunding, particularly since 2008, and the huge increase we've had in students. And I think we, as a committee, have to absolutely face that. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere. We, you know, unless we, unless we do that, we know that. I think, you know, taking inflation into account and, and everything else is about. 75% less than it was in 2008, and we cannot keep doing more with less. So I, I know we're all looking forward to the, the Castles report coming back, and uh, obviously option one is, is certainly my preferred option uh, on that. Uh, we need it back as soon as possible, and I think in line with, um, with what uh, is trying to be achieved here, um, we we need absolute commitment around that, and we need it uh, sooner rather than later. Where you know we're five over five years, the other side of it, um, we we just can't keep dragging our feet in that regard. Um, and, and we know the knock-on effect in, in in all of that in terms of tuition and everything. Thank you. And the announcement of extra places and extra places and extra places, if we're not underpinning that. Um, with the, the proper adequate funding, then I think it's an insult to everybody, as well as it really damaging our um, advancing our knowledge uh, as a nation. Thank you.